First of all, thanks to Expensive Worlds for giving us the chance to play this update a few days before its official release. Alright guys, on this occasion we'll be testing out the new Hunter Power Weapon Pack. Here I have each of the rifles included on this DLC, which are the Bolt Action Malmer 7mm, the Olson Model 308, and the powerful Bolt Action 338. First of all, I'ma show you some of the new customization options that are included on this update. And well, as you can see, here we have all the paints, sprays, materials, camos, and wraps. There is plenty of variety, but I gotta say that from the new ones, the first ones that caught my eye are these darker colors. This dark blue and black are two of the paints that I really wanted to see added to the game. I mean, the black looks amazing on pretty much any weapon, and it can make it into some interesting combinations when combined with the dark blue. We also have this Mississippi dark grey paint, this Hirschfeld and green paint, and from the rest of the plain colors, I'm not sure if there is any other that wasn't here before. So we're gonna move on to the sprays, where we got a bunch of new patterns, including this Aspen spray. I'm personally not the biggest fan of this one, at least not on this rifle, I actually like more this spruce spray. Looks more elegant in my opinion, and we also got some other options like this stripe spray, then also this Medved Taiga pattern, and I believe the last one is this brush spray, because these other three were already in game if I'm not mistaken. Then as for the new materials, we have this tan metallic skin, as well as this spruce wood material, which I cannot place on this rifle, but just as this other wood pattern, I imagine it looks very nice on the weapons that have a wooden force token stock. Now let's go to the camo section, I personally think this is a section with more room for improvement, there are so many things they could add here, and fortunately it got some cool additions like this Hirschfelden woodland camo, which I like a lot. Perhaps not the best fit for this particular weapon, but I can perfectly visualize it looking great on a shotgun. Same case for this Hirschfelden Premium Grab, it looks amazing, but I just feel it's a bit too much for this rifle. So I'ma leave it with the default skin for today's hunt, I mean look at that. It's a beautiful rifle just as it is. Ok, there we have the first animals of the hunt, there is a herd of blacktail. And there is a decent sized level 3 bug coming in, so this is the perfect chance to test the 308. It uses the same bullets as the Sarsa 308, so I assume it is just as powerful. Let's see if we can get a double long shot on any of these guys, I don't care about the size. So, gonna shoot the one that gives me an opportunity first. Alright, the level 3 is alert. Quarter into our sauce, not the best position. And there comes another level 3 on a better position to go for a double long. He is down. This is officially our first kill with this new 308. As expected, the double long was enough to drop him on the spot. Some nice penetration right there, more than enough to go through the first long, although the distance was relatively short for a rifle, so this wasn't really a good test of power. We gotta test it at an actual long range before we jump into any conclusions. Apart from testing the effectiveness of these new rifles, I also want to check what is the new spook distance. It was said that it was reduced, not back to where it was before New England, but it is better now. You know, before this update, it was about 270 meters, but it is supposed to be less now. We'll see exactly how big the difference is, but it is supposedly significantly better. And in fact, here we have a good chance to test that out. There is a moose 270 meters away, so let's cut the distance to about 240 and let's see if he spooks at that range. Ok, we are pretty much at 240, and there's another moose over here, which is the perfect candidate to be the first victim of this 338. Here we go. That's a single long, I guess, the hell is going down, but anyway, let's see if this other guy is still there. Yeah, there he is, alert, but there he is. 
So, the news book rate use is certainly lower than 240 meters, which coming from 270 is already significant decrease. That is good to know, so I wonder how much closer we can get. If you ask me, I would say probably around 210 meters, that sounds reasonable. Gonna drop this guy as well, but with a hard shot this time. That's it, I love the sound of this gun. That was probably a bit too far back. But apparently we got him good on the second. Ok, the first shot was definitely too far back, we got probably the intestines or the stomach, it was a non-viral. Ok, here we have both the first one we shot and this other bull that took two bullets. The first one to the intestines and the stomach and the second one to the stomach and the liver, really bad shooting on this one. The shot on this other guy was certainly a lot better, we hit a single long, which is interesting. I mean, to be honest, at this distance I was expecting a double long, but it still went down real quick, so it doesn't really matter. We are gonna continue trying to figure out what is exactly the new spook distance, there is a bull 220 meters away from us, but I wanna try at 210, so let's get a bit closer. By the way, in case I didn't mention this before, as you probably already noticed, there is a new range estimate on the top right corner. It's in a small detail that doesn't make a huge difference, but it still can be useful in some situations, because the real distance usually seems to be around the middle of that estimate. Alright, now we're at the distance I wanted, so I'ma fire a shot into the air and we'll see if he spooks. He's alarmed? But he didn't spook. So I wonder if the level of the animal will play a role on this. Because if a level 3 goes alarmed at this distance, maybe level 5 would spook at that same range. So we gotta find an actual big male to test that out. Alright guys, since I couldn't find anything big on Layton, I decided to come here to Silver Ridge Peaks to try our luck with some of these nice species. And I also wanna shoot some stuff using this new 7mm, especially mule deer since they are a classic animal and I feel they are the most appropriate target for this weapon. Gonna go for the double long on this guy? He will go down in a second. Well, it was just a single long, given with the polymer tip bullets. Not a great penetration, but the important thing is that it didn't take long for him to go down after being shot. So I'm happy with the performance, this is a powerful weapon. There's a herd of pronghorn over there, 250 meters away. Relatively far, but we shouldn't have any issue to drop both of them using the new 308. So I'm a 0 for 300, then I'm aim just a bit lower to hear exactly where the longs are. Just like that. I really like this gun, probably as much as I like the Sarsa. Great performance on these two shots at a decent range, we hit a double long and deliver on the first one, which is very decent, and another nice double long on the second one. That's a monster. That's an absolute monster, Rocky Mountain Elk. Estimate of 454 to 541, any rack that guarantees the diamond score, that is the big rack. And with those antlers, not only it could be a massive diamond, but also a max weight diamond. So I cannot wait to drop him using the new 338. But first, we need to test if the level of the animal actually plays a role on the spook distance. You know, I doubt that is the case, and I really hope it's not, but the last time we tested it on a level 3 moose, he went alarmed after taking a shot at 210 meters. So if this level 5 with sharper senses than that level 3 also goes alarmed at the same distance, then it means that the level of the animal is not relevant when talking about the spook radius. But on the other hand, if we do the same and instead he spooks, then it means that we may have a dynamic spook radius that varies depending on the level of the animal. Alright, we are pretty much at the same distance as we were the last time we did this test, so I'ma fire a shot into the air and we'll see what happens. And he's still there. They are all alarmed just as the last time, which means that the level of the animal is not important and that the spook radius is below 210 meters. 
And I would say that it's safe to assume that the exact newsbook radius is 200 meters. We'll have to make more tests to confirm that, but there is a high chance it is exactly that or really close to that. There he is right there. He was actually coming in, but then he stopped to drink again for some reason. But now we have a chance to go for it double long using the iron sights. Let's go for it. Oh! I pressed the right mouse button by accident, but the shot was good. Let's see exactly how big is this guy. 513.62 diamond with a weight of 472.74 kgs. That is my first ever diamond with this new 338. Hopefully the first of many. <laughs> 